I cannot believe that it's been 22 years for PNC Park. 22 years. PNC Financial Services spending $2 million a year all the way through this year to sponsor the name, to put the naming rights on there. Heinz Field coming up in 2021. Who's it going to be? Will they spend $57 million? Is the money worth it? I love talking to this guy. I think he's super smart. He knows what he's doing. His name is Mark Rudolph. He's a branding advisor to CEOs. He's a Newsmax contributor, contributor, an author of two books. If you're a cook, too, I might just run away with you, Mark. Wow. <laughs> I do cook, Wendy. <laughs> I have the engine running. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Hi, it's so good to have you back. Joining us live on the Disc Institute of Pittsburgh Newsline, like I said, Mark Rudolph. Mark, okay, so uh, Super Bowl Sunday. I, it always baffles me. When we see, I mean, what are some of the names on these buildings, right? I always wonder, do businesses actually get any bang for their buck by spending all of this money to have their name plastered all over it? They do not. They don't make anything. It is all for ego. And Really? Um, yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. It's been proven that when you slap your company's name on a stadium or an arena, it's all for ego. It doesn't make any money. And a lot of people think that all businesses, all business decisions are logical. But, of, of course, that isn't true. And down uh, Super Bowl 54 down in Miami will be played at the Hard Rock Stadium. Oh, my. And in 2016, Hard Rock paid $250 million <gasps> for 18 years to have its name on that stadium and what's even interesting as you know i want to tie the two topics together the super bowl commercials right right which which we love yeah we love to see them i love my favorite obviously is always anheuser bush in bev whatever but um so wait so is what you're saying about the waste of money and naming rights is it the same for the waste of money in these commercials there is only one objective to advertising sell the product right okay if you love a commercial it's already a failure why because it means it's entertainment oh now in my book brand is destiny which you can get at brandisdestiny.com in chapter 15 i have a chapter it's called skip the super bowl and of course that's addressed to ceos because all money spent on super bowl commercials is wasted when people are choosing their favorite commercial, what is the commercial not doing? Selling, Selling the, product. the product. Do you remember the very famous Mean Joe Green commercial with Coca-Cola? Absolutely. Okay. Me, uh, Joe, Joe Green was coming down the tunnel back to the locker room after a tough game. Right. He looked uh, very despondent and forlorn, and some little boy came up and offered him a bottle of Coca-Cola. He drank it, and he felt so much better. Beloved commercial. Yeah. Made people cry. Yeah. They couldn't stop talking about it. The chief marketing officer of Coca-Cola, Sergio Zyman, yanked that commercial because he said it didn't sell one carton of Coke. Really? But that's its job. So if let's, let's look at a, a TV commercial as a, a digital sales rep. All right. If I'm the CEO of a company and I send a sales rep into a customer's company, to get an order and all he does is make people feel good and laugh but he doesn't come out with any orders what's the point he should be fired right 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 but that's a, that's what a super bowl commercial is so when people are ranking their favorite commercials it means those commercials are entertainment again it's an ego thing you go to the country club and everybody says wow your commercial was second favorite in the country <laughs> well the shareholders aren't getting anything for that and now, what, what is the 30 second spot now these days? It's got to be $4 it's million. It's $5.6 million. Shut the front door. No, it's not. Now, let's, and that does not include creative and production. Oh, which is a complete. So let's tack yeah. on, to be very conservative, Wendy, let's tack on another 400K. Right. So that puts it at $6 million for 30 seconds. Right. Right. And Imagine you're... spending $6 million of the shareholders' money and getting nothing. But that's what's happening. And how long is this going to last? I mean, this will last as long as people have egos. Is that what our, I'm gleaning from this? Yeah, I think that means forever. Right. 
Right. Okay, so let's talk right. about PNC Park and let's talk about Heinz Field. So right. if you think about it, uh, for PNC Financial Services to pay the Pirates $2 million a year from 1998 up until this year, I guess the agreement right. that, that whole contract ends this year, that was kind of that a sweet, correct. that's kind of a sweetheart of a deal if you think about what today's prices are. Well, yes, relatively speaking, that's true. But they're not getting anything for it. So whether it's two dollars or two million dollars or two hundred million dollars, if you're not getting anything for it, it's a waste. Now those expire at the end of this year, and the rumors are that UPMC and Highmark are circling um, to perhaps take over those names. And if I were sitting with those CEOs right now, I would say, don't do it. Now, the stadiums, the owners of the stadiums, they collect, they're benefiting, but nobody's opening up a checking account or a savings (laughs) account or a wealth management account at PNC (laughs) because the name's on the Pirates' uh, ballpark. This is true, and happening. I'm going to buy ketchup. I'm going to buy Heinz ketchup anyway because it's superior. And of course it's, you right? are. Right? I mean, it has nothing to do are. with Heinz Field. But, but again, it's ego. And the, <laughs> here's the, the fundamental of branding, and it's right on on my homepage at markrudov.com. Branding is about connection, not about awareness. A lot of people think that if everybody's aware of something, then that's all you need. Well, everybody's aware that that he should exercise and not eat crap food. But 60% of the population is obese. (laughs) I I love you. I think you're wonderful. Mark Rudolph, you come on back because it's always wonderful to hear your voice, and particularly as these two big stadiums have their naming rights coming up for review. And there's the Super Bowl. Thank you for being back with me, my friend. You're always great. My pleasure, Wendy. Take care, dear.